Here at Interconnection, we like to party. But I don't think our parties are as good as they are in Beirut. And our vlogger, Jasmina, is an expert on that. Yeah, in Beirut, they have different clubs with different styles. Jasmina, can you describe these styles and the different dress codes? Hi, uh, so basically, you have uh, two different kinds of uh, party life in Lebanon. You, you have either the clubs or the pubbing. When it comes to the clubs, it's actually what you wear, what you do, uh, how you're dressing, and all about being fancy and dressing to impress. All right, so but fancy clothes, to... that sounds kind of expensive. Um, do the poor students uh, also party hard? Uh, when it comes to the poor students, uh, some of them do, but it's not, uh, not as much as those that can actually afford it, because uh, a, now, a night out clubbing is actually about $50 a minimum charge. So to, the, uh, to those students or those people, usually they go pubbing instead. All right. So are there any unwritten rules when you go to the club? Uh, the unwritten rules, uh, basically it's all about uh, dressing to impress. You have to look good and look like you belong where you're going. And on top of that, another rule is about, it's mostly for guys. Like when the guys want to go, they actually have to get accompanied by a girl. Ah. That counts for me. I will remember that when I go there. And are there other secret places or hidden pubs that I have to know, where I, that I have to visit and that no, most tourists don't know? Secret pubs, yeah. There's actually uh, a few uh, here in the, in, the, in the city, in Hamra, uh, you, uh, mostly. It's uh, places where you have uh, pubs, mostly like Captain, Captain's Cabin or Rabbit Hole, or such places where people actually don't see because it's uh, not on the main road of the pubs, so it's in the hidden uh, corners. Cool. All right, Jasmina. Well, we hope to party with you soon. Thank you very much. And I will bring my partner.